The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? How are y'all doing tonight? Happy Friday. Welcome in, welcome in. We're going to be doing some more uh, Silent Hill 3 tonight, but as the title of this stream would imply, I am currently battling a ferocious food coma today. Tonight, rather. And it's making me a little bit sleepy. <laughs> More than a little bit. Whew. We uh we had a uh, well, we had a birthday today. Not mine, but uh birthday in the family. And we had uh what is quickly becoming one of my favorite restaurants, uh which is ironic. Due to the fact that this whole channel is themed ar around it. Um, and I've only been there maybe three times in my life. Um, we had some Olive Garden tonight. So, we got takeout. I had the uh, chicken and shrimp carbonara. And then instead of birthday cake, we had brownies. And I'm just... I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling here tonight. But, uh... Hey, Puck. Welcome in. Thanks for dropping some magic in the chat. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> um... I ate way too much. And there was quite a lot of sugar involved. Yeah, gonna bust. Busting does not make me feel good tonight. But... There you go. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pick up some Silent Hill before the before that happens. Yeah, let's just go ahead and mute that real quick. And uh why is Gog open? Why is Steam open? Alright, let's go ahead and get started here. Where's my controller? That's right, I was going to try to see if I could find a better controller. Which I did not do. I did not do that. Sounds like someone just soiled their dingy. No, not yet. Soon though. Possibly soon. Yeah, I don't know what I did with all my PS2 stuff. But... It's a shame, because I I really like this controller, and it's actually a fairly, a fairly new controller for me. But, um, yeah, I thought it was in pretty good shape, but the buttons just don't seem to want to press right. Now I'm tangled up in cables. Up, up, oh, I missed the Konami code. Alright. Hello, game. What's going on, Zach? How you doing, bud? Uh, that's right, we're in the mental clinic. I get a couple bucks from the housing group, just gotta get some info first. That would be cool. Might be $20, might be $500. Hey, $20 is $20, but $500 would be pretty sweet. Either way, that's at least a meal or a little bit of gas in your tank. So that's pretty cool, man. Congrats. Now, what was I doing? Is there another door in here? No. Okay, it looks like there is on the map, but... Maybe that's just the, the normal map, not the other world map. 
Yeah, no, I mean, money's money, you know? What do you, what do you have to do to get that money? Besides, you know, get the info. Alright, so... Uh, I think I picked up a key, right? Yeah, life insurance key, okay. So now I go to go down to the first floor. Also, that's cool that the enemies are still there, even though I've turned the game off. <laughs> what am I hearing? I'm hearing the lack of gun food in my bullets. Or in my gun. Nope, 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 and my option C which is proof of income. Okay. Well, I wish you the best of luck, man. Hope you get that sweet five hundred dollar check. Ow. Get her off of me. Kick it in the face. But do you know I'm gonna go into A and W? Nice. Yeah, man. Treat yourself. Do something nice. Got the coupons. All right, here's here's a funny thing. Oh, wait a second. This is the end of that crappy fairy tale I found. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the priestess. Uh, God took pity upon them and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She can't chant it a single spell. Tu fui ego iris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Tu fui ego eris. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? But did I just finish this area? Because I think there's a room that I haven't been in yet. Um, but here's a funny thing. How do you guys say the word coupon? 
because there's coupon, which I think is the way that it should be said. But I also know people that say coupon. So I don't know. I was just curious how uh, how everybody here says the word coupon. So you say coupon, okay. Ah. All right. Well, I wonder if I should load. Because I'm pretty sure I've missed something. All right. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Here be. All right, man. No problem. I don't remember which floor it's on. Third floor, maybe? I don't think I went to the third floor. All right, I'm going to go to five. We're going to see what we can find. first. So I remember there being like a glass wall. This wasn't it, but I found med kits and gun food. Does anybody know what I'm referring to? on the fifth floor. Oh, let's go up. Break this. I could have sworn. Yeah, I could have sworn you had to break into that. Well, if the shotgun didn't do it... Then I guess I am mistaken.
excuse me. Bro gave you an air fryer. Dude, nice. We got one of those pretty recently. We've just been using it to fry everything. French fries, chicken nuggets, everything. One hit and it just went down. No, it didn't. Hot dogs, yep. Will you fucking die? I hate these enemies so much. Okay. Well, we'll read the stupid book. Skip the cutscene, because we just watched it. We go home like, hey dad, check it out, I found two guns. There's a book on the ground. First part of that fairy tale. Let me try rereading it in the right order this time. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates. Whoa! Once upon a time, there was a blue rover raid. How's it going, dude? Let me do a shout out here. Playing some Portal 2. Nice. I love that game. Sorry, I'm caught up in cables today. Oh, this is too much! You need it to get Dang, the bugs man. out of your hair. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Sick background, love the gamer zone. Hell yeah, man. I got my LED bulbs, my LED strip. It's like a true gamer paradise. And I'm wearing purple. <laughs> I'm actually raiding and lurking because I got work early, but Portal 2 is fun and nice. Now that's no problem, man. I appreciate you uh, stopping by. I definitely appreciate the 18 month subversary. Um, I didn't even realize I went into labor. <laughs> but thank you so much, man. Made a dumb pun before raiding you? Oh man, what was the pun? How's it going, Coyote? Told them to stick around. It is pretty bad, but I'll allow it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, okay, nerd. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you again, man. I know you said you gotta go, but uh, thanks again for uh, for the 
sub in the uh, in the raid for sure. But we're just reading fairy tales at the moment. So, once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster, and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that. Their swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but couldn't think of, could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. The first part, I'm sure I've read this somewhere before, but I feel like that's the first time I've ever read that ending. Oh well, whatever, it's no time for me to worry about that. I just want to get home already. Okay. We read that in completely the wrong order. But here we are. Get some old beach and all the clams I can eat. So now what? I don't have a map. Can I get a map? What's that? Yeah, I know your apartment's the other way. It's definitely not behind the giant fumigation tent. God, this fucking but yeah, welcome in, raiders. Hope you guys are all doing good. Hope you like spooky games and chill vibes. You're so slow. Why is this camera so bad? Is this really that 2002 experience? When did this game come out? Don't have anything else to do in this building. I have to get home. Did I go into that building? Okay, but like... Well, where do I go? I've had enough of that gross building. I'm going home. My house is really close to here. But I can't figure out where, how, how to leave the street. Lady. Because this end is... The path is blocked, yes. In here? No. Oh. I am become stupid. Just kidding, I already was. What is this place? That's not my place. Dust shoot. That's not my place. What does the key say? What 
102. Oh, just probably save. Make someone spit on your sacred place. Thinking that makes my head hurt. What does it mean? Looking at that red screen makes my head hurt. But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? Okay. Saddest moment in video game history right here. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Big sad. No. 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 Big sad dad, yep. Morgan Katar. <laughs> What's going on, Barf? Oh. Yep. Rip indeed. Ripperoni and cheese. I'm doing okay. I'm fighting a massive food coma at the moment. Because I ate way too much for dinner. And then I had a brownie afterwards. But how you doing, man? Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! I'll get you for this. There is another reason. To fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you'll understand why. No! I'll never understand! Bro, you have a gun. To remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. You have a gun. Just yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. You can still pull the trigger. What will you do? I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. You had a chance. You had a chance to shoot. Uh, the design of your shirt kind of looks like Piccolo twerking. Um, it is Piccolo. And it says, Boom Chica Ah. Because boom chica ah, boom chica ah, boom, 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 boom. Green dick is better than blue dick. Or so says Piccolo. I will provide context after this boss fight. Dang, this guy's fast. And I am low on health. Oh, come on. That is some bullshit. Oh, 
Am I almost dead? Oh yeah, I am. Okay. Wow, this dude does a lot of damage. This camera is not making this any easier. Oh my god. Don't tell Navi that. Why why are we not what are we not telling Navi? The Navi from Avatar Green. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I forgot that's what they were called. <sighs> oh man, I am low on shotgun food. Low on a lot of things, actually. Just calm down. Is you grudge vibes? A little bit. To do that? My father is dead. He's murdered. Get out. This is all your fault. If it weren't for you, I'm sorry. Then go. To make you feel better. See you, Douglas. I'm the Christmas Bandit. Oh, never mind. He didn't leave. You okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. You like call the cops? Now you've tampered with a crime scene. Needs a couple more stabbies. Maybe. I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. You let her get away. You could have shot her five minutes ago. When I find her, I'll kill her myself.
Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How did you get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. I will, Douglas. You're my boy. I'll be back, Dad. Can't use that here. I feel like I have to use that pendant somewhere to get a good ending. Also, Harry, clean your fucking bathroom. Yeah, that place is grimy. You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar. Didn't remember this plot point. Yeah, no, they they straight up kill Harry Mason. I got a stun gun. Wait, no. I want to keep looking in there. There might be more stun gun batteries. No, just dolls, just creepy dolls. Their third game with Harry and Heather, the Wii one. But that one has Harry. Um, there is a game for the Wii. It was also on the PS2 called Shattered Memories, and that one you play as Harry. Um, it's kind of a, uh, it's, it's a reboot of the first game in a way, but it's also kind of its own thing. Oh, I've been in here. Yeah, so you start out and the town is like it's like the middle of winter, I guess. And yes, Puck is right, you don't actually fight in that game. That one actually tries to psychoanalyze you, so it actually asks you about your fears in the beginning. Um, but it is, it's a, it's a reboot of the original game. Until Dawn Without the Windy Boys. <laughs> I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? <clears throat> He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard, and he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Which one of them is played by Kit Harrington? Here, take this too. What's this? 
Your father was holding it. Different endings based on your choices during the therapy sessions. It also changes the way the monsters look and behave, I think. It reminds us of Walking Stim Stim style first person adventure game that came out a few years back with similar themes. Okay. What's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding. Like the worst hangover ever. You're 17. How do you know what a hangover is? No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. It's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. Huh? You see. That girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. Father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? The god was killed. The girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. But before she died, she gave the baby to my father. was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. I'll just follow up on chat in just a second. <laughs> I'm 
but yes, this... The music overall in this series picked up a lot after the first game, but this one has the, the best music in it, by far. 4 did have some good songs, so did 2, um, but this one was definitely the best. I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. 50 something years old. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. Goes on sale. I like that mellow guitar at the beginning of this game where everything goes hellish. Yeah. And I think they do use the same scene or the same song in a movie at some point. I don't know if they used all songs from the games, but I think they got Melissa Williamson back for the songs that were new for the movie. Which was awesome. But I don't have to go to the bathroom. And yeah, I'll, I'll for sure check that out on Steam. It sounds pretty neat. Why did they unequip my weapon? Jack's in. I'm going to Brookhaven. So we're not going to Alcal Al Alcamilla? Alcamilla Hospital? Good lord, it is foggy. even going to bother. Where am I at? Texan gas station. Oh god. Got it. I can't see diddly shit right now. I want to go bowling. Let's go bowling. Took me a second when you said Melissa Williamson the other night to realize that she's Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. That sounds familiar. I think the, the name she goes by on the Silent Hill soundtrack credits is Melissa Williamson. Oh, Heaven's Night. I thought this was from Silent Hill 2. Somebody play the Get Out of My Bar. I've forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Get out of my bar. You <laughs> always cause trouble. Quiet little town. Uh, quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. 
Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Town Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Roger Widmark. We've got the beef jerky. Is there anything else I have to do here? Because this this feels like an important thing if it's gonna like zoom in on it like that. Uh, it might depend on the version because that, like I said, that that name Mary Elizabeth McGlynn sounds familiar, but yeah, I've I've always known at least her work to be under Melissa Williamson. Come on. I'm holding the button. Just run. Into the hospital. What the fuck am I hearing? Oh! These are like the nurses from the first game. Go down without a fight, though. And I don't have a rock drill. Do not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. Well, are health drinks drugs? They seem like drugs. What's she looking at? She's looking at something. It's a medical record or something. It's for this Leonard guy. This be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12, presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas, suspect mild schizophrenia, will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. Room S07. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on an excessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Okay. Need a map, need a map, need a map, need a map. Oh. Elevator works, but I don't want to ride the elevator.
The day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll and I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. He's uh, standing a girl that he's never even met. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Oh, Stan. Not going that way. Camera, please. Locked. Oh. I need to heal. <laughs> out of gun food for the shotgun but I believe I have a lot of eh, not a lot but should be enough I feel like this is not working I should have just stuck with the katana the whole time. Got an ampoule? Is she looking at something over here? I guess not. I guess she was looking at the bodies on the floor. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with the lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk of those nasty wenches. Uh, with that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. Why haven't you taken my doll with you? Oh, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. There are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? Here's a key. 
I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Vader's not responding. Okay, I think I have tried every door on this floor. Time to go up. down. Let's go down. Never mind. Let's go up. Hello. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here, too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept going on. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley called. Stanley, you're, um... Uh, creeping me in a little bit. Type written memo posted here. First is larger than the second. Second twice the third. I'm gonna write this down. <laughs> I think I need to know this one. Okay. One is larger than two. Two. Third. Third is smaller than the fourth. And the fourth is half the first. There we go. Four of the numbers are not are not repeated. Okay. Four, not repeat. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One is the final key. Okay. Is that it? That is it. It's locked. So, the first is greater than the second. The second is twice the third. Third is less than the fourth. Fourth is half of the first. 
So if the fourth is half the first, then the first has to be an even number. If the second is twice the third, then the third all or the second has to be an even number as well. If first is greater than the second, first number cannot be two. Second number could be two. Could be six, two, one, three, six, two, one, three. No, because three is not in the top row. Eight. Six, three, four. Hey, oh, you again. I if I could just shoot them I'm far enough away. Did it. That one's got a gun. Can I take that revolver from you, Miss? corpse is laid out on the stretcher. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. The start time is my key. Medical record. Could this be for the dead guy? Background unknown. Name age unknown. Not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds, and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. I received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Elevator. Hello?
There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love Heather. Now, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Seven. Turn off the alarm. Yes. So what? Seven thirty-five. Pillow stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattooed guy? I've got a bad feeling. Instant camera. Now to take some selfies. Wonder if one of these hospital rooms has a selfie stick. Ah! I need to heal. I need to find healing supplies fast. Let's keep kicking her. There's a med kit. I think that's everything but this hallway. I keep burping and tasting the food that I ate for dinner. Ah, uh, really? Shrimp and brownies, yes. Not that one. The one that's still wiggling. Yeah, it's mostly like the... The sauce that was on the... The noodles. Combined with brownie. You want to read a fashion magazine? Nail polish remover. Oh no! Absolutely, it's it, it's not. <laughs> it's quite disgusting, actually. Hey! Thanks, Dusk. How you doing? Great beard. <laughs> Thank you very much. The fuck is this? This is Silent Hill 3. Yeah, I know. I, I know you guys are in the Discord right now watching that. I've seen that movie 
too many times and I, I I'm not a big fan <laughs> so I, I'm good but I hope you guys are enjoying it, it uh, I'll put it this way it nails the aesthetic perfectly but that's all it does that is all it does is aesthetic It's still bad? Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. It's got Kim Coates in it. Yep. It's got Kim Coates, Laurie Holden, um Sean Bean. The fuck was that? Okay, I guess it was nothing. It's not a terrible movie, it's just cringe. And it doesn't do anything at all to... Like, to, like it doesn't do any justice to the lore, I'll put it that way. Um, do I combine that with that? Wait. Equip? I can equip the perfume? We got the stairwell key. Okay. I don't know. I mean, that, and I'm pretty sure it was directed by a guy that made hentai. You'll know what I mean towards the end of the movie. Uh, let's go down. Let's go down to the basement. Camera, please! Oh, hey! Where's the person that was using it? Brotherhood of the Wolf? I have not seen that. I don't know what that is. Suspicious place between the shelf and the wall. I can't squeeze in there. There's no way I can move the shelf either. Beauty and the Beast 2014. I have not seen that. Is that a submachine gun? That's a submachine gun. Okay. Blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. Do it. Okay, so there was nothing down here but a submachine gun. Got it. We didn't have to unlock the door. Okay. Third floor. Uh-oh. We saw the blood screen. It's locked. Oh. Or not repeated. Three in the top row. Two not in the right row. One is key. Okay. So one. I don't know, I'm just guessing at this point. I have everything written down, but I don't I don't know that code yet. Alright, let's go not that way. Do 
You change your background? It, I did. Well, sort of. I just got more colorful lights. <laughs> What's going on, uh, Hunter? How you doing, man? Oh, and Flags is here. I totally didn't see you. Apparently they're making another Silent Hill movie. I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. I totally didn't... I, wow. I thought that was Dusk the whole time. I'm sorry. You guys are both green on my side, and your names are almost the exact same width. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. I don't know how I feel about them making a third one. The first one was not great. The second one was terrible. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel <sighs> intensely... <laughs> I'm just gonna let Nick get a Get his bust going on. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. CHICKEN STRIPS! Chicken strips are the key. <laughs> and I saw that one coming, so I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry Mom, for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big baby! <laughs> there it is. We oh, been... I like your funny words, magic man! We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient, it's just a little longer. Modern arts and fear books! There's gonna be cultists throwing dynamite. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. He is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean, all of Silent Hill. Except me, Stanley Coleman. Sure thing, Stan. Whatever you say, Stan. It's too late. I finished it. Mission failed. You'll get him next time, Nick. <laughs> Damn it, I don't have a map. Went that way already, though. So... Box busted. Are these the solitary rooms? Oh. Blowing freely your ebony hair. Like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart, clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath, like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. Shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept my proof of my love? I'll stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me, Stanley Coleman. I'm not taking the doll, Stanley. I'm not doing it. It's creepy. Oh! Get out of here! Kick her in the face. Okay, there was nothing in here but a monster. Lock is broken. Is this going to be another hint? Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. Something handwritten on the top of the type typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing, it looks like this was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired.
I went in here already. Dominic, I want you to put that cheesesteak down and get, get the, the fuck, fuck out, out of my, my face. face. I have one. This isn't gonna be. Sounds like someone just soiled their dingy. <laughs> it's gonna be the same one, is it? No. Walruses want this chair, and walruses don't want chairs at all. All right. Um, I wrote it down, but I kind of took a Cliff Notes version, so maybe I should go back down to see. Wait, there's a. It's a fourth floor. What? Am I going onto the roof? I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. Oh, Stanley. I hope you jumped. Uh... Oh, it's the big guys again. Camera. I'm gonna die. I am going to die. This is so bad! Why did I immediately get myself cornered? You gonna lie down? Hey, no problem, man. Thanks for stopping by. You, can, you, can you stop? I'm gonna keep kicking you in your pantyhose until you stop. Uh, Flags and Dusk and, and Hunter, if you guys are gonna watch the second Silent Hill at some point, I will definitely sit in on that, because I've only seen that one once, and I remember it being an absolute trash fire. We're not? Okay. I, I don't really recommend it, but I I would be down to make fun of it if you guys watched it. That's all. Uh, let's go this way. It's just that I've seen the first movie so many times. This is larger. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. Which are not repeated. You're gonna oh, you're gonna do it. Nice. <laughs> Let me know when, because I, I I've seen that movie once in theaters in 3D, and it is so bad. <laughs> and Kit Harrington is in it. Are you doing it now? Uh, I'll be live for like another 30 minutes though. Yeah, I, I usually go for about two hours, maybe a little bit longer. Let me see if I can figure this one out, though. So if three are not in that row, 
six, four, nine, four, five, seven, eight. We'll wait. <laughs> Sounds good. Have you guys already finished watching the first movie? Okay. How'd you like the barbed wire scene? Well, something on the floor. Submachine gun food. Not as good as the skin ripping scene. Alright, that scene's actually legitimately pretty good. It's just blood. It's more like they start from the back of the shelf. So, how do I get back there? I don't think I want to get anywhere until I figure out that door code. I think I've been everywhere else. <laughs> Sometimes you pull on it so hard you rip the skin. Yeah, happens to the best of us. Let's see. Ah, uh, this way. So, four numbers are not repeated. Three numbers are not in the top row. Two numbers are not in the right... I'm assuming they mean column. And one number is the final key. Four numbers are not repeated. So I, don't, I don't get that. That doesn't give me enough information. Because the other part was for the code downstairs that was first greater than the second, second is equal to twice the third, third is less than the fourth, fourth is equal to first, or half of the first. And that was eight, six, right? Eight, six, three, four. Four numbers not repeated. Three not in the top row. Two not in the right row. One is the final key. The fuck? Did I don't know how many numbers I need. But this only gives me the option to use five numbers on the pad with no particular idea what order they go in. Got to look this up. <laughs>
Okay, that was not... was not right. <laughs> Three, four. Yeah, that's what I that's what I got for that one. How about the third floor? Oh. I'm an idiot, I guess. Can't use that here. Wait, what did it say? You see developed photos right away. Yes. Combine. No. Where do I? Where do I use it? Can I use it on the door? No. Down here, maybe? Okay, where the fuck do I use the camera? In the basement storeroom? Okay. I don't know what was trying to tell me that I needed to use the camera in the basement storeroom, but that's what the guide tells me. Oh! Let's go! Follow the dead body road. We use it here. Never mind. The guy did tell me that the key was down here. I am an idiot. Okay. Okay. Nine eight five seven. Someone farted so hard they went full oh. Jarek. And then they ungasmed all the way. What's going on, Yosh? Yo, I love that emote. <laughs> Who's is that? Lude Lacey? Yeah, that's 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 the Danny signature combo. Is it nine eight five seven? Yeah, there we go. Lock is broken. It's the it's the Danny signature move. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House is an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. The true... It's, oh, it's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, 
It is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near, Miss, uh, near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was re refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly did the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a, religious, uh, a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people is a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Uh, feels like I've heard that name before. I wonder if you grew up there. Wouldn't that be a twist? An M. Night Shamalama Ding Dong twist. Beef jerky. I'm not gonna lie, picking up so much beef jerky kind of makes me want to go get some beef jerky. But I'm also fighting this food coma still. Uh oh, he broke the doll. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me, because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while, and I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today. The day that I'd see you, the day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my broken doll. Well, see you later, Stanley. Uh-oh. For me? Oh, 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 wake up! Wake up! Hello? Claudia? No, I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Click by. Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. So you called an abandoned hospital full of monsters, thinking that you'd find your daughter there? Claudia is your daughter? One of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm. I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. 
Ooh. I'm sorry, but she she killed my father. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways, but I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. Is it you tricks? Can it balance a ball on its nose? Get a gun. I can block this. I didn't block it. <laughs> okay. Did I check that dude? I did. Locked. Locked. Come on, go through the door. End of the hall on the second floor. This one? Uh oh. We're in hell. Okay. That way, either. Rude. Is 
Yeah. Sure. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it, but I know this one. It must be... Still has an high it's Lisa! Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her, Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though, because she was on the drugs. Oh. Oh, hey, mister. Yeah, you turn that valve. Uh, not that way. Wow, I cannot see the doors at all. Yeah, don't fall, please. Just don't. Oh, it's those things again. I hate those things. No. You cannot run past them. I want to... Oh, there's six floors? Oh, there's... Yeah, there's six floors now. Good. Oh, I was on the third floor. I thought I was on the second floor. love a map or a save point of course it's the one covered in blood Someone stole a payphone and stuffed it in their locker. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay. 
thanks. Happy birthday, dear, who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. That's Stanley. I'm not your beloved oh. Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is number seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. I thought I was the 31st. A present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Okie dokie. It's not my birthday. <laughs> That's the only part that she's hung up on. It's not my fucking birthday. Oh god. The more I look at it, the more pitiful it seems. Like a child locked up in there with no chance of escape. Okay. This is one of those... Oh, no, there is actually some stuff in here. What did I get? Plastic bag? Hmm. You, sir. Ah. Oh, just reload the damn gun already. Sus. Okay. Could have sworn there were doors back here before, but I guess not anymore. back up to three. Hopefully we can find a place to save. That, all right, that was bullshit. Good lord. The Merrimax. Hello, greetings. You already played Tormented Souls? Uh, I have not. Oh, 
Oh my god. It makes the Resident Evil HD sound hill and alone in the dark. That sounds cool. I've played most of the Resident Evil games and most of the Silent Hill games. I have not played all of the Alone in the Dark games. I played Alone in the Dark 4. And little bits of 2. This room. I'd really love to show this room off, but I haven't saved for a while. Okay, don't remember when I'm allowed to leave. Okay, she stopped moving. Can't go that way. Lock's broken. It's unlocked. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. Blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this, and for what? It looks like a full-out bloodletting. Well... Can we use the plastic... Uh, yeah, of course we use the plastic bag. That's where I came from. Okay. Sorry, without a map and without being able to see the walls too clearly here, I got lost. What is um what is tormented souls for? Because I've not I've not even heard of that. But it sounds interesting. Jared pooping himself. I don't even know where I have that sound bite saved. Let's see. Is that the one? That's that's the one. Oh. 
There it is. How much ammo do I have? Oh, I'm really running low. I hate these enemies. I hate them so much. Did you aim at the floor? want to save. I just want to save the game. <laughs> Thank you! There's a memo on the chart. Dr. Midkiff. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim, too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful, R. Crosby. Oh. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Okay. Yeah, it's been a, like a half hour since we saved, according to the game. Okay, I think that's going to do it for tonight, guys. That was, I think, it felt like a lot of progress. At least, you know, to me, it did. But <laughs> probably not, actually, to be totally honest. But uh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it for tonight. Um not to me. Well no, not to you. But you guys are also kinda waiting on me too, so I only had to go to the guide once tonight, flags. Thank you very much. But um yeah, that's uh that's gonna do it for tonight. Who are we gonna raid? Is anybody playing Jedi Knight? Every time I try to raid out the Jedi Knight, it's always like the Russians playing it. No. No, nobody's playing that. Somebody's playing Siren, though. Ooh. Eh, never mind. They're Japanese. I I, I would not be able to speak in Jedi. <laughs> Um, well, Phantom's playing SCP. Maybe we'll go and raid them. They've been live for six hours. I don't know how people do that. Yeah, we're gonna pop in on Phantom. Or Phantasm now, I guess it is. Alright, guys. Well... Thank you for uh, stopping in and hanging out. Also, thank you for the for the new follows. We got a uh, dusk, and wasn't there another one? No, I guess not. Well, dusk was a new follow. We got to see flags in chat for the first time too, though, so that was cool. But um, yeah, that's gonna do it for tonight. Be back on uh, Monday to continue this. I don't think I'm close enough to say it'll be one more stream probably like two three more streams but yeah i'll pop in for a bit but yeah that's uh that's all for now see you guys next time later